Hi Aries, this is going to be your Twin Flame reading for May. So let's check what is going on with your Twin Flame. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Aries. So I just want to mention I am giving away a free reading. So if you're interested in that, check out the description section of my video as well as my bracelets, which are linked down below as well. They are on my Etsy and uh, private readings if you're interested in those, those are also linked down below. Thank you so much to those of you who I have worked with. It has been a pleasure, truly, truly has. And thank you for stopping by on my video today. So let's see what's going on for your twin flame and what's essentially gonna happen within the situation and what the connection is like. So let's see what's going on, what's gonna happen for May. We have three cards already. Oh, wow, okay, so we've got the Six of Swords, we also have the Eight of Wands, and we have the Seven of Wands. So I'm definitely seeing a little bit of instability in terms of your Twin Flame. They're feeling emotionally a little bit unstable, and also just physically quite unstable in the sense that they're, they're really trying. Like, they're really trying, they're not just sitting there and hoping for things to get better. I feel like they're actually on the move and they're trying because especially with the six of swords they're they're trying you know they're they're trying to move away from something emotionally or try and find themselves emotionally the eight of wands is really about a lot you know there's a lot coming towards them right now which i think is just making them sort of a little bit unstable you know they're a bit wobbly right now and they're trying to make a move they're trying to find their balance so they're, they're still going you know they're still moving but there's just a lot coming towards them right now it could be there's other work concerns there's maybe their family is taking up a lot of their time or just things you know maybe they're just out and about a lot so there's a lot of things sort of taking their time and they just they feel like they have a lot on their plate right now but they're they're trying to emotionally better themselves is what i'm seeing especially with that six of swords okay we have got the lovers wow now i do feel like you may already be in communication with them the eight of wands is actually a communication card as well um, which shows that there can be a lot of back and forth communication with this person so if you're not already in communication with your twin flame i do see that in may you will be also with that lovers card they do think of you very very strongly it's just they're not in a place right now to emotionally be able to to offer you you know, something really, really tangible and stable. It's, um, they're, they're very much feeling unstable, like they have a lot on their plate, but they do think of you in a very sort of warm, fuzzy, loving matter. So there can be communication come in if there isn't already communication. Also seeing with the Nine of Cups, there's this sort of wish to be in a better place. So I feel like they're really wishing that they're in a more stable place and that they feel more stability within themselves as well. But the Lovers is a great sign. And the Eight of Wands indicates communication as well, but they just have so much coming towards them. Could also be they're just in communication with a lot of people in their life and they just have a lot going on. Okay, we have got, we've got four cards. I usually don't take four cards, I only take three, but we're going to do it. So we've got the Five of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot of confusion and there's a lot happening. So with these particular cards, there's just so much happening um, in terms of their mind, in terms of things coming towards them, in terms of just... Uh, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot right now, but this is going to change. Fives and Tarot are all about change. So whatever this chaos is that is making them feel quite unstable and emotionally unstable as well, maybe even physically unstable, it's going to change. Um, they're going to get to a point where they just feel so wrapped up in everything that's happening. It's going to really force them to, to look at things and it's going to force them to really come out of this sort of shell that they're in. And, um, you know, they're, they're going to feel really stuck and that stuck Ness is going to help them to really come out and really have this three of pentacles energy which is all about teamwork and collaboration it's all about building things from the ground upwards can be within their family but i'm also specifically seeing this is in a relationship with you so i'm seeing that although they may not be able to offer you something so tangible 
in May, I am seeing that there is that potential that they want to sort of start with the ground. They want to start from the ground up. So it's that idea of building and making sure that the foundation is very stable before they're able to really build on this sort of 10 of pentacles um, energy with the lovers and sort of have this sort of commitment with you. Um, so this is about things taking a little bit of time, which is why I'm not seeing this happen right this second in May. I'm seeing it happen a little bit more down the line. They really need to get themselves stable. They really need to find to find themselves as well emotionally in order to be able to have that teamwork balance and collaboration for things to be mutual to, for things to be equal because right now things are a little bit one-sided um so that's essentially what needs to happen but i am seeing with the ten of pentacles and the lovers it is just a really beautiful combination and i'm seeing this in the future so for example um you know everyone has a different twin flame journey um if you have a twin flame of course and if you meet them in this particular life but what i'm specifically seeing is that um you know for some of you aries twin flames you may already be in a situation where you are together you know, they've worked through their issues. For some of you, they're starting to you work through their issues. For others, they're feeling stuck right now. For others of you, you know, you may already sort of be really working on building things forward. And for others, you just may be in communication with them. So a lot of you are in different sort of stages. So that's what I'm picking up on. I'm seeing that it will take time to get to that commitment stage, but it is on the horizon. Um, it will just take them time, especially with that Three of Pentacles. This is about building something with time. You know, good things take time. And um, a relationship is all about teamwork, and that is something that they... They, they seem very passionate about, but it's, of course, right now it's very, very difficult. They're still trying to find themselves. So, Aries, that is your reading. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, my God, I completely forgot. I'm not done with this reading. I don't know why. I just felt like that was the end of the reading, and maybe I should go with it, but I, I just remember that I always pick a lover's oracle card at the end, so I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Time. This is what we were talking about. It's going to take time. <sighs> Can't make this stuff up, guys. Um, you are trying too hard. Give it time. Just give it time. I mean, we didn't. Al we didn't even need to kind of necessarily pick that card out, anyways. But. Um, I did, you know, it, it just goes with our reading and uh, you can't make this stuff up. So yes, uh, guides are saying give it time, they will come back around, they just need to find themselves. So if you guys like this video, <laughs> um, don't forget to uh, like this video, comment down below if it resonated, subscribe to my channel if you wish, and I will see you all very, very soon. Everything is linked down below. Bye!